to this video presentation. This video is part of my ED403 assessment task. This is a postgraduate education course offered at the University of the South Pacific, particularly on innovations in learning technologies and professional practices. My name is Sasua Nikua, and I'm teaching BIF02 on evolutionary patterns here at RMIUSP. This video presentation serves the purpose of providing my students with supplementary help. Topic chosen, plant evolution. Subtopic, angel sperm's classification. This is the classification of flowering plants. Intended learning outcome is to identify characteristics that differentiate monocotyledon from dicotyledon plant. About 80% of all green plants are angel sperms, the most diverse within kingdom plantae. There are about 300,000 species known. They are very useful for many reasons. We use them for weddings, in funerals, for medicinal purposes and food, in birthdays and other social functions to name a few. There are two main groups of angiosperms. First, monocotyledons. These are angiosperms with only one seed leaf or one set of cotyledon. Second, dicotyledons. These are angiosperms with two seed leaves or two sets of cotyledons. There are five characteristics being used to differentiate monocotyledons from dicotyledons. First, seed leaves. If the embryo within the seed has only one seed leaf, then it is a monocot plant. If the embryo have two seed leaves, then it is a dicotyledon plant. Obviously, this could also be observed when the seeds germinate. If it germinate with only one new leaf, then it is a monocot seed. And if it germinate with two new leaves, then it is a dicot seed. Second, leaf veins, or these are the patterns on the leaf. If the leaf veins are parallel, it is a monocot leaf. And if the veins are branched, then it is a dicot leaf. Third, stem. The best way to do this is to have a cross-sectional cut of the stem. Then observe how vascular bundles or conducting tissues are being arranged. If they are scattered throughout the stem, then it is a monocot stem. And if they are being arranged in a ring form, then it is a dicot stem. Fourth, flowers. To differentiate monocot from dicot plants using flowers, we have to count the number of petals on the flower. If it is divisible by three, then it is a monocot plant. And if it is divisible by four or five, then it is a dicot plant. Finally, roots. Monocot root system is known as fibrous roots. This is a root system with no main root. A dicot root system is where there is a main root or tap root from which smaller roots are being projected out of. Here are some internet links where you can also get similar information that have been discussed in this video. Hope that this video provides useful help on your studies. Thank you.